Hello everyone, I'm Bruno Cabral at SystemRecipes.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a mailbox for a user. Okay, so to do that, as you see over here, I'm on my Exchange Management Console. If you go to Recipe and Configuration and click on Mailbox, over here you'll see all your mailboxes. So to create a new mailbox, just right click and click on New Mailbox. The other way that you can do that is through your Action Panel. and if you just click on mailbox okay new mailbox and over here if you just select user mailbox okay because that's what we are creating now click next It's then gonna ask you if you would like to create a new user or you already have a user in your active directory if you don't have a user then you just click on new user click next and just like your Active Directory, you just enter all your information over here about the user. Over here, you can specify which OU you want that user to be in. So you click, you browse, and then select the OU that you want that uh, user account to be in. Okay, so if I just say London users and then click OK. So if I and that's it and once you click next you'll, the rest of the is just quite normal okay, let's go back say suppose you already got a user account in your, uh, in your active directory so what you do then is click on existing users and then you click on add and then it will show you all the different users that are in your active directory so as you see over here I've got a f two users Rio and Tom that doesn't have a mailbox so suppose I want to create a mailbox for the user account Tom okay so I select Tom click OK click next over here it's going to ask you for your alias name so it depends upon what strategies you're using for alias names so for me I'll just keep the first name and the last name okay you can then over here specify uh, which mailbox database you want this user to be in. So browse and select the database. For me, it's going to be DB1. I'll click OK. Retention policies, exchange active sync mailbox policies, and address book policies. So if you have any of these policies, you can obviously again tick and browse and select the policy. Okay. Then click next and click new. It's going to create a mailbox. There you go. It has now created the mailbox. So if you just click on finish and it's all done. I hope this video has been useful and thanks for watching.